Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the team of the season Fofana card to review. We're taking a look at a card who is six foot one, high, high work rates, right footed, three star skills, four star weak foot. Um, so we've definitely reached the point that I feel like people are well aware that this card is most likely going to be full meta or close to full meta, just like most of these League One cards. Uh, reason being for this with Fofana is because... When you're a tall player at six foot one and you have, you know, the high and average body type, the dribbling stats are massively improved on the card. That in the midfield position defensively is really, really solid to work with. So the fact that he has all of that with the weak foot being there, the fact that he's tall, the fact that he's got a 94 stamina at a high, high work rate, the card is formatted very nicely. In-game player traits. He has the speed dribbler traits. He has the long shot taker in-game attributes. We're going to be taking a look at a card that with the shadow chemistry style, he's going to be ha he's going to have 98 acceleration with 99 for sprint speed, and his defense is going to be essentially perfect or close to perfect. Uh, the defensive awareness is at a 90, but guys, you guys know when your defensive awareness is around that area, but you have the high defensive work rate with the high attacking work rate, you guys know most of the times it actually ends up being really really good to work with. Base card stats for shooting is actually in a very good area. Considering the fact that he does have the long shot taker, it's definitely a huge plus to have for this card. I do thoroughly believe that most of the plays that you're going to be seeing in the game is going to be defensive capabilities, right? Because normally if it's like a card like Paqueta, then you want him to push forward sometimes. But the fact that this card has attacking capabilities is always very, very nice to work with, right? So uh, we will be trying some shots here and there whenever we get the opportunity to. Uh, long shots... He would mainly have to play as a right center defensive mid on balance and structure for him to get into those areas to do so. But it just depends if that's going to be a play style of yours. Like I said, the main thing that you want to see here is defensive capabilities with this card. Uh, passing for a midfielder, definitely in a very good area as well. Doesn't have curve, but everything else uh, is very solid exa exactly for those um, you know, first time passes, the, the first time touch, then pass afterwards. Definitely formatted very nicely, even though he doesn't have that much curve on the card the dribbling we will be experimenting with because with Fofana you guys remember high and average body type six for one height so we do have to experiment with that in game uh defensively like I said on the shadow camera style he'll be close to perfect and then for physical capabilities this card has a 95 for strength 89 for aggression and then a 74 for jumping so with this card guys we're trying out some different players right we're going to be using him in the 4 2 3 1 playing as one of the CDMs, right? And then we're also going to be lined up with him in a 3-5-2 as well, playing as one of the CDMs for this as well. So we're going to be using him with uh, Winduzi's card at the time. So uh, yeah, we'll see how he plays in game. Hopefully he's a beast. Well done, Fofana, from behind. Fofana the beast. really like strong he's got like a strong body type like it's massive look at that beauty Good try there Was he offside? Oh, unlucky. I don't even know what just happened right there. That was all glitch, by the way. I, I honestly do not know what just happened. Oh, Courtois, team of the season is so disgusting, man. Thank you, Isco. Absolute beauty. Oh, let's go, Fofana. Way to come in on the attack, my brother. Foul. Okay. Fofana's a beast, man. Nice. 
Nice, good shot cancel. Well done, well done. Oh, for fun, you almost got that. Unlucky. Oh, man. What a first time pass by Fofana. That was brilliant. It's not easy to do. Not everyone can do that properly. Thank you, Fofana. Pretty sure I like this Fofana card more than Gwendozi, to be honest. Oh, no. I pressed circle to tackle. Oh, but he's still good for me. I'm not doing any of this, but Fofana's compensating. What a beast. Good try, Fofana. Oh, the pass is going to be better there. The Fofana pass was great, though. Thank you, Fofana. Fofana again. Yeah, Fofana, he's he's a monster. Like he's been fantastic for me so far. Really has been. Yeah, Fofana's definitely better than Gwenduzi. For sure. Like I have zero doubt in my mind. This guy's a monster. Oh, nice try. Oh, Fofana. Yeah, Fofana's a monster. Like, this guy's amazing. Look at that. Well, we did pass and everything. Oh, wow. Imagine if I actually scored that with him from those dribbles. I'm telling you guys, Fafana, bro, like, this guy. Different gravy, bro. <laughs> Catches it as well, eh? Oh, oh, he almost put it into his own net. No. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the team of the season Fofana card. In my opinion, guys, for the defensive capabilities especially, I think that he's going to be close to full meta, if not full meta, okay? This card defensively is very hard to get past. It's really funny with his body type, right? Because his body type is like big and strong, but it almost looks like he has his own unique body type. It's very interesting, uh, in my opinion, but... I really feel like this card's a monster, right? For me personally, I definitely noticed his presence more on the pitch than the Gwendozi card, right? For me, I really, really like this team of the season Fofana in comparison to Gwendozi, you know, cards that have the weak foot, have the high, high work rates, have the height, all of that good stuff. Fofana just has this like really crazy physical thing about him that just makes him very, very solid defensively. When he's pushing up against the attackers, when he's winning the challenges behind the player, in front of the player, you know, just intercepting the ball, everything. I think this card is fantastic to work with. For me personally, you know, it, considering the fact that this card is not that expensive and you can get an easy link to the Klaus card, I would link him with Klaus and then I would also get the Flashback Verati. So that way, if your gameplay is like not necessarily up to par, Flashback Verati's dribbling will compensate, but Fofana will be that defensive monster in that area too. So for me, that combination play between both of the players, I feel like would be very, very unique to work with for this game, for the meta of the game, right? Because he's very, very solid to use in that midfield setup. Uh, the League One definitely has a lot of options when it comes to the midfielders, and we are going to be checking out Paqueta and Shuamane afterwards. Uh, but with this league, guys, because I think comparing nationalities doesn't really make too much sense considering the fact that he's from um, the Ivory Coast, I feel like... Oh, this, this league has so many midfielders. Okay, so high, high work rates with Shuamane doesn't have the weak foot, so irrelevant. Paqueta, I think like, okay, if you get a card like Paqueta, it's a cool variable to have. I'll, sh I'll tell you why, because he's left-footed, right? So 
Fofana being on the right side and then Paqueta being on the left side, that's a great meta to work with too. Fantastic. We are going to be checking out this card afterwards as well, but that's something that you can 100% work with in your team. Uh, comparing the two, I think they're both really good. You know, I think they're both really, really good. Let me see the price range. So 1.6 Brazilian link to Neymar. A lot of people are going to want that for sure if they get that link up. Fofana, like I said, 310k. What a price for this card. What a price. Guendouzi is at 187k right now. Definitely, he, he keeps going down. Guendouzi is really good for his price range. Like, he's more than good for his price range. Uh, I just feel like Fofana is definitely a card that I felt his presence more in-game than the Guendouzi card. Kakarot's actually pretty solid, but he's not a tallish player. He's a, a shorter player at 5'9". And then that's, like, pretty much it for all of the cards. So... I mean, if we're going to be doing a comparison between him and the other midfielders in this league, I would genuinely choose Fofana over most of them. Like I said, it depends on the combination play that you're working with, too, because if I'm using Fofana next to Verratti, like I had to sub on Verratti at some point in one of the games for Guendouzi, and the combination play between the two was great because Verratti's that quick, responsive guy, and Fofana's the guy that, you know, he uses his physical and his defense to really help all the team. So, um, yeah, I think he's an absolute monster. If you guys are looking to pick him up for... 300k or whatever price he is in the future if you end up packing him as a team of the season pull um he's definitely worth using man he's an absolute monster in my opinion so hopefully you guys enjoy this video today i'll catch you guys for the next one peace out dudes love you guys